Well, on board the train, there is to be no eating, drinking, or smoking of any type. This is not only for the comfort of the guests around you, but also for the safety of all of our animals out on the veld. We do have any small children with you here today whose feet cannot touch the floor of the train. Please make sure that they have been seated to the middle of the row with the adults on the outside edges for their safety. And while aboard the train, please keep all hands, arms, and legs inside the train at all times. And once we do take our leave here of the Nairobi train station, please remain seated throughout the entire journey of our trip until we reach our next destination, which will be Stanleyville. We are currently at the Nairobi train station. The next stop will be Stanleyville. From Stanleyville, it'll make a return trip here to Nairobi. An entire round trip on the train should take around 30 to 35 minutes. All right, the engineers have turned on the bell, which means we're almost ready to leave. Just once these final few guests board onto the train, we will be taking our leave here at the Nairobi train station. Station master, no more changing of seats, no more standing. This train is now in motion. All right, if you look to the right hand side of the train, give a big wave to our hardworking station master and our conductor from the last trip, Nishaya. Everybody say goodbye, Nishaya. Also, if you look over to the right hand side, you might get a catch a glimpse of our African penguin swimming around in their little nice swimming pool over there. Yeah, I'm coming up on both sides of the train, so the big green coaster that you can see around it is the Kinohet Roller Coaster, which you know has been the shortest, longest history span over. 3,004 to see the test. Takes you around at average 60 miles an hour. It takes you over three minutes to complete the entire circuit. So you know, this is also a three stage launch coaster, which means it'll launch you at three separate locations, taking you from zero to 60 miles an hour within just a matter of seconds. Now to the left hand side of the train, we might get to go through the tree. Is the edge of Africa. It is a self-guided walkthrough tour of our African lions, our meerkats, our lemurs, spotted hyenas, a 14-foot freshwater crocodile, and our hippopotamus swimming around in a 220,000 gallon observation day.
for information on Cobra's Curse, please go to www.cobrascurse.com. Please remember to take them from a seated position. Lest we come to a stop and you get injured from falling over onto somebody or onto the seat next to you. Or off the train. Or off the train. Now, over there on the left hand side, you may see them, those big animals. Those are our reticulated giraffes. Now, giraffes are the tallest of the land animals, growing up to about 18 feet tall when fully grown. They'll do pretty much everything from the standing position. Now we can tell our giraffes apart because no two giraffes share the same exact spots. And just like humans, they also have the same number of vertebrae in their neck as we do. Yeah. 
side, look past the zebras and underneath one of those trees, you could catch a glimpse of one of the white rhinos. Now, the white rhino happens to be the second largest land animal, only second to elephants. Now, the white rhino can grow up to be anywhere between 4,000 to 6,000 pounds when fully grown. And they can run up to 35 miles an hour. Now, the white rhino has a very bad eyesight, really poor eyesight. In fact, right from back here, we're probably just a blur to him. At about 10 feet, a white rhino can't tell the difference between you and a tree. However, to make up for that very poor eyesight, they have extremely well and very good hearing. If you look over to the right hand side of the train, you might see two rocks with very long necks. Those are not rocks, but they're actually our ostriches. They're all sitting down over there on the hill. Now, the ostriches are the largest of the bird species. They grow to be around 300 pounds. They can run up to 40 miles an hour, but they are a flight of this bird. Now, their eggs that they uh, lay are the equivalent of about 24 chicken eggs. And we'll take a cross or an exit to the sky, right? Also, if you look over to the left-hand side right now, you might be able to catch a glimpse. Another glimpse of our white rhinos out there laying down next to the track. And if you'd like to take a ride on the sky, right? You can find the entrances in Stanleyville next to between Stanleyville and Jokala. You can also find one of the all the way back near the Nairobi train station, right over where the entrance to Cheeto is. This guy right will give you a bird's eye view, push gardens, as well as the Serengeti. through the Congo area of the park. For those of you who do ride the train quite often, you'll know that we usually do stop here at Congo. However, for the season, Congo Station will be closed. We will not be stopping here in Congo until again during Christmas time. So if you wish 
to do come back to the Congo area of the park, you'd have to get off at East Stanley Bills train station and walk the dump. Now this ride to our right hand side is called Kumba. Kumba is the Swahili word for roar, and the coaster gets its name from the special made cars that it has. As this coaster goes around the track, you can make some very loud roaring sound. In fact, you'd be able to hear that all the way across the park on the quiet day. Now, Kumba takes you about 60 miles an hour through seven different loops. And has a minimum height requirement of 50 signatures. Coming up on the right-hand side of the train, you might hear the sound of rushing water. For those of you further up, you look to your right, you might see a break in the trees. That is our Congo River Rapids. That is a quarter-mile river rapid drive where you could, 11 friends or 11 complete strangers, can go white water rafting through dips, dives, twisty turns, and into the caves that have waterfalls. But trust me, that is a water ride, and you are sure to get wet. If not, possibly so. stripes on them. They're all the way back into the back side of the tent. Stop. 
here at the Stableville Station. Wait, what are we doing? We're going to get a Now, everybody look over to the left hand side. Give a big wave to our hardworking station master, Jason. That is the most handsome man in the entire park right there. I'm just kidding, he's my supervisor. He actually pays me to say that. Now I'm going to get fired. Yeah, he can't fire me unless I'm a supervisor. All right, it's now safe to exit to the left-hand side of the train, taking all personal belongings with you. I hope you enjoyed your day here. You will find the exits at the front or rear of the train station. If you're staying on our next stop,